Today on CJ Pony Parts, we're going to show you how to make your Focus ST run clean and strong with some help from Mishimoto. Modern engines put a lot of oil vapors through the PCV system, which can cause engine performance issues and even engine damage later down the road, especially with the Ford EcoBoost. So today we're going to protect this 2013 Focus ST with this Mishimoto oil separator. This is Mishimoto's baffled oil separator for the 2013-18 Focus ST. This kit is designed to easily bolt onto the Focus and comes with a 6061 built aluminum catch can to trap oil vapors from the PCV system to prevent them from entering the intake manifold and covering the intake valves with carbon. It'll help your Focus to run clean and strong and everything is included to make the install a breeze. For more information and pricing, click the link in the description down below. Now let's get to the install. The tools you'll need for this installation, the quarter inch ratchet, a seven millimeter socket, a three eighths ratchet, 10 millimeter socket, 9 16th socket, 17 millimeter socket, T30 Torx bit, an extension, 16 millimeter wrench, a flathead screwdriver, a trim panel removal tool, a lighter or a torch, and a two and a half millimeter Allen key. First thing you need to do for this install is remove the engine cover. Pop this tube out of its holders, just like so. And on this particular car, this one doesn't have the clip, so that. Now we're going to disconnect these two sensors over here. Disconnect the connector on the map sensor and pull that off. Pull off the sound imposer hose. Grab a seven millimeter socket and loosen the clamp that connects to the throttle body. Remove the five 10 millimeter bolts that secure the intake manifold to the cylinder head. And the fifth bolt is back here. Now that the intake manifold's loose, it's gonna make a couple things a little easier. If you couldn't get to this sensor earlier to disconnect it, you can now have a little bit more room to disconnect it. So you can now pull it off. Unplug this connector here as well. You're gonna push down on the gray side, not the black side, and pull that out. Follow this vacuum line to the intake manifold and you'll notice these green clips, these little wedges that stick out. You're gonna spread them on each side with your fingers and pull it down. Pop it down like that. And they might come out entirely. Now you're gonna push down on the green tab that's still in there and push the hose off. This gray connector also needs to be removed from the intake manifold. Just pry it up, it's on a plastic tab. Disconnect this PCV fitting on the back of the intake manifold. Push on the sides and pull it out. On the back of the intake manifold, there's another connector that needs to be removed from the intake manifold. It's just held on by a clip. Last thing you need to do is pull the red locking tab on this throttle body connector and pull it out. The PCV hose that you disconnected from the back of the intake manifold, follow it down here to this green elbow. Then what you wanna do is get a small flathead screwdriver and separate the hose from the green elbow to pull it off. Pull off this fuel injector connector. I'm gonna show you a trick to make this a lot easier. Take a torch, just be very careful with this. We're gonna heat this hose a little bit to loosen it up so we can pull it off. Just be very careful of where your heat is going. It only takes a little bit of heat, but it makes it a whole lot easier. With the hose off, I'm gonna plug this fuel injector back in. The PCV hose that we just pulled off you need to pull this fitting off the hose as well. So once again, to make it easier, heat it up with a torch and pull it out. Take the fitting that you just removed and install it into the Mishimoto hose that has the 180 degree bend right here. Tighten the clamp and when you're finished, it should look something like this. And drop the hose down like this right in front of the starter and let it sit there for the moment. Grab the other hose that comes with the kit 
and slide one end onto this green elbow. Place a hose clamp on it to secure it. And you're gonna route this hose the same way that you routed the first hose. Go ahead and tighten the clamp down. Place the intake manifold back in the car and reconnect everything. Pull up on the intercooler pipe to make sure it's properly seated on the throttle body. Then tighten down the clamp. Reinstall the intake manifold bolts. I'm gonna start with the middle one. Reconnect this hard line with the green clip at the end that you disconnected earlier. Push it on until it clicks and get it back into its retainers on top of the intake manifold. And reconnect your map sensor. Then also this connector back here. Reinstall the sound symposer hose and also the engine cover. Remove the six fasteners that secure the splash guard to the front bumper. Remove the three T30 Torx bolts. Remove all the Torx screws that secure the splash guard to the fender liner. Then you can remove it. Then remove all the fasteners securing this splash guard. Install both of the hose barbs into the Mishimoto catch can. Tighten them down. Before you install this, make sure you can break it free. It can be really tight. Then take it off and tighten it back on. But don't make it super tight. With the heat cycles, these things can really tighten up. So just make it snug. You don't need to crank on this super hard. Otherwise, it's gonna be really hard to open this and empty it when you go to drain it. Attach the mounting bracket to the can and secure the two two and a half millimeter screws. Make sure these hoses are behind the intercooler pipe and connect the straight hose to the out port on the can. Put a clamp on there. And connect the other hose to the in port. Tighten down your hose clamps. Lift your catch can up, and you're gonna mount it to right here on the transmission. There's an open hole right here. Get the bracket over. To mount the catch can, there's a hole right here on the transmission that you're gonna mount it to. Use a 17 millimeter socket and a 16 millimeter wrench to tighten it down. The install of this catch can is now finished. All you have to do now is reinstall your splash guards. Okay, we got our Mishimoto oil separator installed in our 2013 Focus. So I'm gonna keep this engine a whole lot cleaner so it can last longer. I'd say give yourself an hour, maybe an hour and a half to do this. And before you know it, you'll be heading down the road. We hope you enjoyed this video. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the link right here. And for more videos like this one, click this playlist.